Cold fronts pose a problem for bass fishermen. That's just all there is to it. Sometimes you can catch the biggest fish uh, after a cold front. Uh, sometimes you catch a few fish and they're small. Sometimes you just bomb out altogether. But the bite is not going to be nearly as good. And one of the reasons that the bite is not going to be as good is after a cold front, bass do two things. If you realize this, you'll be able to accomplish some, some at least have some success after a cold front. One is a bass will move into the tightest possible cover he can find. He'll get in like really close to a bush or he'll get right in the middle of the biggest brush pile or he'll get under way, way back under a boat dock or he might get uh, back down in the grass where your bait can't hardly get to him. That's one of the things. They move in a difficult place for your bait to get to. Second thing that happens is their strike zone gets smaller, which means that you have to have your bait in a smaller area to be able to catch them. You might have a bass that's laying right here and the strike zone be two or three or four feet away. So if you get your bait within two or three feet of him, he'll run out there and bite it. That strike zone after a cold front shrieks down where it might be only inches, where you might have to put it right on his nose to get him to bite. Your bait might be six or eight inches away from a bass and he doesn't bite it. So that's why they're more difficult to catch. But if you'll use those two things in your fishing, 